What is going on guys? Dave from Wake Up It's Football and with the Sports Network bringing you guys the top five runs for week four in the NFL. So let's get right to it. At number five, Reggie Bush of the Detroit Lions cracked a 37-yard run against the Chicago Bears and that run actually ended in a touchdown. Uh, you got to give credit to the Detroit Lions going out and grabbing a playmaker in free agency this offseason. Reggie Bush has paid off for them uh, the last couple of weeks. And this week, the Chicago Bears obviously did not get the memo. Reggie Bush had a pretty solid performance, and he opened it up with this 37-yard touchdown run. At number four, Marshawn Lynch, Beast Mode 2.0. Get this man a bag of Skittles. Oh, my goodness. The Seahawks were pinned at their own two-yard line. And, uh, you know, Marshawn Lynch doing what Marshawn Lynch does best, cracking a 43-yard run, breaking all kinds of tackles. You know, at one point it looked like he was going to go out of bounds. He's got my voice cracking right now. He's, the guy is nuts, doesn't go out of bounds, breaks an additional tackle. At this point it was probably the fourth or fifth tackle broken. Gets tackled at the 45-yard line. Amazing run. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Uh, but, you know, this image does not do it justice. <laughs> Marshawn Lynch. Man, my goodness. Number three. Adrian Peterson, 60-yard run against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, broke a couple of tackles on this one. Ran on the right side of the field uh, to, to really, you know, all-day AP to, to break this 60-yard uh, run. Actually gave the people in London something to cheer about because the last couple of games played in London looked like absolute. It was it was it was bad. It was bad. So this this week, you know, the Steelers and the Vikings had something uh, to, to give the the people of London to watch. This play, 60 yards by Adrian Peterson against that Steelers defense for a touchdown. At number two, Trendon Holiday. Returns a 105-yard kickoff return for a touchdown against the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles looked awful this last week against the Broncos, but maybe it was a combination of you know the Eagles not playing really well and the Broncos just probably being not, not probably being the best team in the NFL right now. Trendon Holiday again, a 105-yard kickoff return. Speedy guy, shifty guy. Why did the Texans cut him? We don't know. Number one. Dexter McCluster on an 89-yard punt return for a touchdown, hitting that circle button, doing that spin move, juking guys out of their shoes, and taking it all the way to the house against the New York Giants, who looked awful this last week. Dexter McCluster uh, showing why the Chiefs have held on to him, showing why he's utilized as a running back, as a wide receiver in the return game, and he really, you know, showed the NFL this week why he's – Deserves to be number one on our list with an 89-yard punt return. If we missed any plays, throw those comments down below. I want to know what you guys think. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe to the Sports Network. But that is all we got for you guys this week for the top five runs. I'm out.